There are so many things in life that can drain your energy, taking time to renew and restore by dropping into your inner space is the best means of recharging. So let's do that now. Bring your attention to your breath. Notice your breath moving in. Good morning, welcome back to another video. So this morning was um, pretty fast, pretty rushed. Luke already left for work and I did some yoga. I made myself some coffee and then I had to run over to my laptop because it's time for my online class. I mean, it's supposed to be regular class, right? But because of the whole coronavirus thing, we have to do all of our classes online. And I'm currently on break and I'm trying to adjust to it. I have my laptop right here and my iPad where I take my notes. We're on break right now, so if you hear some background noise, that's the class, but I made myself some breakfast. I had some delicious toast again, and like, okay, I really eat a lot of similar meals every day. Normally I like to keep my meals very simple, which is why you'll find some of them pretty repetitive, but when I do have time and I do feel creative, I do try new recipes and whatnot, but like, when I'm going through a routine, it's very, very easy for me to just eat the same meals over and over again, so that's just me. Um, our teacher was catching us up on what's going to happen and our due dates for our exams as well as homework and whatnot, so I'm going to be posted up here for the next couple hours. I will check in with you guys at lunch or whenever I eat next. Okay, so it is now lunchtime. It's a little dark, sorry, it's backlit. I really don't know what I'm going to make, but I know I'm going to have some steamed vegetables. So I already cut up some asparagus and carrots and I put it in this instant pot. Well, it's a Kasori pressure cooker, so it's like an off-brand instant pot. And then I'm going to put the top on and use the steamed vegetables option. It really only takes a couple minutes. It just has to get pressurized first, so I just steam vegetables and start. And then while that is pressurizing and cooking, I'm going to make some bonza chickpea pasta and eat it with the vegetables and that would be my lunch. But I'll show you the finished product when it's ready to go. Since we're here talking, that organic chemistry class was so hard, especially because my Wi-Fi here isn't that great. Um, there's just a lot of Wi-Fi routers around this area, so it kind of throws off and like bounces off the signal. Normally I'd be able to get really good Wi-Fi if I go to like a cafe and connect and just do my own thing, but seeing as we can't really go outside, this is going to be for sure a challenge for me. So stay tuned for future videos when I start crying about how difficult it is to self-study here. <sighs> All right, so right now I have the water boiling and I'm gonna throw in some of this bonza macaroni when the water's boiled. And right now, Today's food preparation snack is going to be this salted caramel plant-based protein bar by Red. Red bar. The bar by itself is too heavy. I would say it's like too sweet. When you add the little crispness of the apple, it definitely helps even out the taste, the textures. And you guys just know I love apples anyway. Honestly, I'm running out of ideas. Not that, you know, I don't know what to eat, but I'm just not very particular about what I'm eating right now as long as I'm getting all the nutrients I need and it tastes relatively good. So these are the veggies that are just steamed and the chickpea pasta right there and some avocado. Mm -mm -mm. And then I got this everything but the bagel seasoning that I've been eating with everything but a bagel. It's, you know, it's the only thing I would ever go to, that I go to Trader Joe's for regularly now. I haven't even gone during this whole entire coronavirus thing, but I would go back, and I will go back when, once this is all, f oh my gosh, it's almost empty. But this would be lunch. Mmm, that's good. We love everything but the bagel seasoning and avocado. And some of you guys might be asking, but Amanda, where's the protein? 
That bar that I just ate, 10 grams of protein in it. Bonza pasta, 13 grams. So I've already eaten at least 23 grams of protein in this one meal that I've had. Not to mention that avocado also has some protein in it as well as the vegetables. So I'm not really, I'm not too concerned about adding in like tofu or like a mock meat in this. It already has everything I need. Later. All right, so I'm gonna be making once again kitchery for dinner. Oh no, that's okay. We really like kitchery here. Again, like the last video, we're just really in this. I don't know what to call it. I keep asking Luke if he gets tired of it or like to tell me if he's tired of kitchery. He's just never tired of. <laughs> Are you tired of it yet? Nah. Pretty simple. So kitchery is just a like grain dish and it's normally made with lentils and rice and some spices so I went ahead a while ago and like made a spice mix this is enough for one more batch of kitchery you just fry the spice mix with the seeds for a little bit and then add in so I soaked lentils this entire day added water and then put the rice in and then put water in and then cook it like you would normal rice and super easy recipe I normally eat it with some kind of cooked mixed vegetable so I'll show you when that's all prepared. Okay, so now the kitchery is made, and what I like to do is just add in. So we get these huge bags of spinach from some local farmer's market, and it's just way too much for us to finish right away, so I just freeze it. So now I'm just adding in the frozen spinach. Honestly, like I've looked up, can you freeze spinach, and everybody says to just blanch it first, and then you can freeze it. And nobody got time for that. I'm gonna mix it in. It kind of cools it down, but the warmer is on, so it kicks in. Here we have mushrooms and beets. I don't know if I'd call it stir fried. It's just like cooked up. What would you, what do you consider that? Delicious. But like the style of cooking. Like, <clears throat> oh, I blanked these vegetables. I didn't stir fry them. It's called lockdown cooking. the video yesterday wow how original of me but after dinner I had a banana dessert of um, sliced banana with some almond butter and granola and frozen berries on top hope you guys enjoyed watching this video and that you are staying safe sanitized and sane make sure to take care of your mental health meditate go on a walk get some sunlight do some yoga whatever it is that gets you going make sure you fulfill that little place in your heart anyway i'm signing off i hope you have a wonderful morning noon day or night wherever you are and i'll see you next time bye <laughs>